Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art we're going to draw a cauldron. So I just had a quick look online and I found this image of a cauldron and the witch that's cooking this brew has some green uh, stew and it's got eyeballs in it. So I think that's the one that I'm going to draw for you today and I hope you like it. So let's get started. We're going to draw the top of the cauldron first and this is like any open vessel. It's going to be an oval shape. So we'll just draw a sketch of an oval here on our page and then because it's a cauldron it's going to come in a little bit underneath the rim. So we're just going to bring our lines in towards the middle here and then back out. So we've got this on this side it comes around and then down and I guess I'll do this right now but this edge is going to have like a double lip and as we get closer to this edge over here we're going to see um, more of the inside ridge than the outside so it's just a little bit um, of perspective on this as we go around. So I'm, this back line is going to actually have three lines in it. So this is where the water line is, this closest line. Then we come back over here and we draw another rainbow over that one. That's the lip. Um, that's the inside of your cauldron. So this part I'm coloring in right here. This is the actual upward section of the inside of the cauldron and then back here we're gonna have a line that shows the edge of our lip but this line is very close to the cauldron it comes out a little further on this side here now at the front we can't see inside we can only see the front edge so we're just gonna keep this line going all the way around and then this line here this edge um, the top rim edge it's pretty wide at the edges here but it's going to come in a little closer here at the front and over to the side. So this this was probably the trickiest thing we've had to do for this cauldron is these all these levels of, of lines for ovals. The most important thing is knowing that you have three lines back here and only two up here. Okay so then what we have now is the shape coming under on both sides like this. So I'm just going to talk about this little corner right here. This little corner is the top edge of the cauldron and then we're going to have sort of a dark shadow along here. You can't really see this up close but it's it's the edge, the vertical edge on the outside. But there's so much darkness that we don't see an actual line finishing this little this little ridge that's coming around but it does exist so I just drew it in I just shaded it for now to help us find it okay now we're on to the bottom of the cauldron so if you've watched my how to draw circles tutorial which may or may not be uploaded yet um, we're just gonna make a nice big circle at the bottom I recorded it yesterday I don't think I've uploaded it yet you'll get it soon in any event, you can practice circles by watching my circles tutorial and then may I'll just put a link right here that you could click over to. But we're going to just make a nice big circle here for the bottom of the cauldron. There it is. Now the cauldron has some little legs to stand on. So they're down here holding up the cauldron on both sides. And the most important thing is that they're kind of sitting on the ground in the same level. But they don't have to be the same length because the way we're looking at this cauldron is on some kind of angle. But underneath here we're going to have all the shadows from the cauldron sitting there. Alright, so now we'll just maybe go back over this line a little bit to make it more clear like this and we're going to draw the handle. So another circle just right here. Nice, A nice um, chain handle and it's going to attach onto the main cauldron with this little metal piece and we're going to do our final lines. We'll have one big circle and one smaller circle inside like so. 
All right, so the picture that I'm looking at, there's a big reflection on the cauldron right in this area here. This is I I don't think witches probably have brand new cauldrons. And because we have some light coming in, we just want to make sure that we're always going to have light spots in all of these areas where I'm drawing an arrow right now. So all of these little areas here are going to have um, lack of shading. So I'm going to put circles to remind myself to not color in in those areas. So this is a big area here of not colored in areas. All right, so now in here we've got this green soup and we're going to make some eyeballs in here as well. So here I go making a big eyeball floating in my witch's soup. This is going to be the color of the eye. This is going to be the, the dark pupil of the eyeball. And again, I'm going to not color in in a couple of spots here. And my eyeball is floating in the stew, so I'm not going to draw the full bottom on that. And then I'm going to draw another eyeball over here who's quite submerged. We'll just see the, the color of the eye here and then the dark inside blackness of the eye. And a little bit of a little bit of reflection also on this one. And another eyeball over here. Again, just floating. Draw black. Some reflection coming in here. Awesome. All right, so this is my eyeball stew, my witch's stew, and probably we're also going to see some smoke coming up out of this cauldron because any good witch worth her broth will make a hot and steamy stew. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my Sharpie and I'm going to do outline in, uh, in black marker. Someone stole my Sharpie. People in my house are always borrowing things, so I'm just going to use this brush tip, Faber-Castell. Uh, it does the same job, it's just a little bit longer of a tip. Alright, so I'm going to trace over all of these lines with my marker. I might decide to use my fine tip for a few of these lines inside the eyeball, just so I don't end up touching anywhere that I didn't mean to. That happens sometimes. You end up making a line touch another line when you didn't mean to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw this outline just around and down. But then I'm also going to finish all these lines going across. I'm actually going to go find my Sharpie because this one is running out of ink. Better. Okay, so when I'm drawing this, I am going to make some shadow lines under here just to give us that idea of, of shadows coming through. Like so. Alright, continuing back here. Alright, so I'm ready to erase all of my pencil marks. Okay, so starting off here, I'm going to just put some really soupy light gray in here. And what I want to do is get my, get my paper a little bit wet. So this will spread more easily and not end up really heavy on the color. So there we go. And then I'm just going to float this black on all over this cauldron. Alright, so that's it. That is how I draw and paint 
a witch's cauldron. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this today, and I hope you did one too. I'd love it if you would comment on this video and tell me what you would like me to draw next. And it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel, because then you would never miss another Doodle Draw Art episode. Please click like if you liked watching this video, and I'll see you next time.